What rights do biological parents have when a child is placed in foster care? When a child comes into care, biological parents still have a majority of their rights. For foster parents, this means that birth parents attend medical and dental appointments, are encouraged to come to any therapy sessions, as well as be aware of any treatment recommendations. In regards to school, parents are invited to attend 504 or IEP meetings. In addition to all these things that biological parents are invited to attend, biological parents also sign all the documentation pertaining to the child. In regards to birth parent contact, that's determined by the courts. The courts decide how often the biological parents and the child visit. This could mean once a week for one hour or four times a week for three hours. These are typically at the agency and are supervised by agency staff. However, sometimes the court can decide that the biological parent gets unsupervised visits. This can happen out in the community or at the birth parent's home. Once a child's freed for adoption though, this all changes. When a child's freed, that means the birth parent's rights are terminated or the parent surrendered their rights. If the rights are terminated, the child and the parent will no longer speak or see each other. If the rights are surrendered, it's oftentimes with conditions. This means that all the attorneys on the case get together and determine these conditions. This can look like a visit four times a year between the child and the birth parent or the foster parent providing an update to the birth parent once a year. One of the things to remember for you or anybody who's wanting to become a foster parent is that each case is different. It's not set in stone.